Welcome to Just Nigeria, brought to you by the BBC and Channels TV. And here on the show, we look at the stories making the rounds on social media. I am Wali Fakile. First on our lineup today is our top story. Uh, the increase in electricity tariffs by federal authorities may have come as a surprise to many Nigerians. Some others argue that the hike in tariff will help improve the amount of electricity supplied by the power distribution companies. But how much will this increase cost and does it affect every consumer? Uh, Just Nigeria's Ajoka Ulodse tells us more in this explainer. When news of an increase in electricity tariff broke in the first week of September, Twitter was lit with reactions. Some described the hike as unfair and poorly timed. Others said it was long overdue. But as days rolled into weeks, you may have noticed that you're not paying anything extra for the units you vend. So, why have some people been exempted from the hike while others have to pay more? Let's break it down. On the 1st of September, 2020, the Nigerian Electricity Regulation Commission launched a service-based tariff, SBT. The tariff that people pay or consumers pay should be correlated, should be tied to certain um, attributes of this service, not just the uh, number of hours that you get, but also the number of interruptions. And going forward, the time you get the supply also matters. Simply put, the tariff regime will see people who enjoy more electricity pay more for it. So the more you use, the more you pay. Now, the SBT was born after years of consultations with electricity consumers who kept complaining that they pay for electricity they do not use. And that is the reality for many Nigerians. But what is the aim of the service-based tariff and what problems would it solve? It's actually designed to, uh, first, of all, first and foremost, engender investments in the sector that will help to for infrastructural development and the upgrade. The main problem has always been that um, not as if the power cannot, is not available, but the, the cost of delivering it to customers makes it impossible for it to succeed as a business. You understand? You can't be buying something at an average of 60 Naira and you are selling it at an average 28 Naira. Now, let's help you understand this elementary economics. This is how the service-based tariff is expected to work. Your distribution company has grouped consumers into five different bands, depending on your electricity consumption and the hours of electricity available to you. If you are on band A, like you, are, you will be receiving minimum of 20 hours per day. If you are not on band B, you'll be receiving 16 hours minimum per day, then band C will be receiving 12 hours per day. And uh, band D will be on eight hours per day. And the last but not the least, band E will be uh, on four hours per day. That said, this is how much of a variation in price you expected to see within these bands. Let's take an example with the Portacot Electricity Distribution Company. In band B, one MB customer uh, will be paying 5480 cover. In band C, uh, the, the non MB customer will be paying 5170 cover. But for bands uh, D and E, they are still maintaining the status quo. 1323 cover. Interestingly, Majority of customers are on those bands D and E. So the impact of the tariff will not be felt by them. So those who are affected are not more than 30% of the population. So, how do you know if you're part of this 30% that will be paying more to enjoy better service delivery? All discos have been directed by the Commission to issue publications from the 14th of September 2020. Uh, detailed, a detailed advert that shows the network area by bands. So a customer who lives in um, Abraka knows what band he is. A customer who lives in Oniru knows what band he is. After confirming your band, it is important for you to begin to monitor your power supply. You want to be sure that you're getting as much value as what you've paid. If it appears like you have been shortchanged, Contact relevant authorities immediately. If you're a band A customer, they represented that you will get 
um, 20 hours minimum um, on average on a monthly basis. If it now turns out that the disco hasn't been able to provide that service to you within the defined period, there's a complaint mechanism. So the commission has designed a two-pronged uh, mechanism for measuring this. There's going to be the customer side um, notification and the commission side monitoring from a technological end on looking at the supply on the feeders. In 2018, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission introduced the meter asset providers map to bridge the metering gap in the country. Despite this initiative, more than half the population of consumers are still being charged using the estimated billing system. If you fall into this category, you may want to know how the service-based tariff affects you. The NERC earlier this year introduced, uh, brought out the capping regulation, which means that uh, there is a certain limit to which you can estimate, you can estimate customers' bill, uh, 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 bills. You can estimate it. So that that billing is that cap is in place. So it essentially protects the customer from outrageous bills. To ensure that you don't get these outrageous bill, it is also important for you to find out the estimated cap for your area as ordered by the NERC. Details of this can be found on the NERC website. With consumers now paying more for improved service delivery, what guarantee do we have that discos will have enough power supply to meet up with the increase in demand for electricity? With the new order issued by the Commission, we have evaluated to see that these new tariffs are supposed to be a win-win situation uh, for consumers and for investors. As discos begin to get a return on their investment, the SBT promises improvement in quality of service delivered, as well as prompt metering of consumers. Regulatory authorities believe it's a new dawn for the sector. If the, I live in an area where the the utility is able to give me 24 7 supply i now have the opportunity to actually shut down my generator and benefit from clean grid power that is more likely to be um, stable and uh, also uh, more cost efficient a cost effective system that ensures every home gets constant supply of electricity has been the dream of many nigerians to achieve this Efforts have to be geared towards making the service-based tariff more pocket-friendly. While consumers should know, it is their right to demand value for their money. Ajoke Hulotse, Gist Nigeria.